Some of the comments on one of my videos got me thinking recently, and also being a part of several different carnivore Facebook groups got me thinking about this. How do you define what it means to be a carnivore? So, I mean, if you look at where the word comes from to begin with, um, it's an animal that kills and eats other animals. So when a person says that they are carnivore, um, to me, there come that comes with a wide range of ideas. And I was thinking if you're going with the strictest definition, then a person who claims to be a carnivore should also be killing and eating an animal raw. No seasonings added, not even salt. That's not to say that we don't need salt. All animals need salt. But animals out in the wild are not salting their food. So, you know, just making that point right now. But anyway, I was thinking about how, to me, the ter- th- this is to me. Everyone can have their own opinion, you know, their own definition. But this is how I see it. If I'm doing a carnivore diet, I'm going to say it's anything that comes from an animal. So that's not just the meat. It's also going to be things like butter and cheese. So, um, and I'm any, any of the fat from the animals, you know, so whether it comes from the milk that they produce or whatever. So to me, that would be the carnivore diet. Um, that's my definition of it. Also, then from there, you take on the human approach, which is to bring in flavors, uh, the seasonings and stuff like that. Now, when you step outside of that, I think, and start bringing vegetables in, to me, that goes more into the realm of what ketivore would be, um, which my kids hate that term. They're like, ketivore does not make any sense um, because it's, vore just means eat. So if you say ketivore, you're saying you're eating a keto diet which is technically true because you're in ketosis on a ketovore diet. Ketovore is just more of a meat-heavy lean. I think it's funny, not funny, that people get so dogmatic about the definitions um, where if you post a picture of meat with cheese, people will say, that's not carnivore. Like, okay. Uh, why is this not carnivore? And they say, well, it's not meat. Okay, but again, you know, anything that you add outside of just raw meat, okay, you're not doing carnivore either then. So, um, you know, animals out in the wild don't drink bottled water or, you know, filtered water or whatever kind of water that you're drinking. They go to a watering hole. So, I mean, how how far do you want to take the definition and apply it to yourself? That's, I guess that's my point. That's why I think it's so ridiculous when people get so dogmatic about it and they just automatically say, this isn't carnivore. Well, according to you, it's not carnivore. According to me, I can eat these things on a carnivore diet. Um, and I don't even claim to be carnivore. It's if I label something as carnivore, that's where people get upset. So But whatever, they, you know, everyone's allowed, like I said, everyone's allowed to have their own definition and their own, um, their own ideas about how it should go. But to me, it's like, well, that's, that's what works for you. This is what works for me. That's it. So anyway, I, small rant this morning. (laughs) Thank you so much for listening. Bye.